In this video, I'm going to explain how you can make Streamlabs Cloudbot say hello to everybody in your chat. My name is Tree, and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, as remember Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash Tree, link is down below in the description. First thing we want to do is go to streamlabs.com and log in with our Twitch. Make sure to authorize it. Then we search for Cloudbot here on the left and go to commands. Then we add a command. We can call this exclamation mark hello, hi, or anything you want, to be honest. And here you make sure that it says hi to everybody. Hello, welcome to my stream. There we go, with a heart, of course. <laughs> Reply in chat, keep that that way, and everybody can use it. Now we'll go to advanced here, and what we're gonna do is we leave this all on zero because it doesn't cost any points. But here, these are the interesting things. Aliases and keywords. So let's see. Alias is an alternative way to trigger a command. So this would be like if somebody else would do exclamation mark hi, then we can do hi here as alternative way. We do not need to do this, but this is a possibility. Keywords is where it's at, guys. Keywords here is somewhere in a message. So it doesn't matter where somebody says it. They don't have to use an exclamation mark. It's get picked up to read the command. So what we can do is say hello, at We add an by pressing enter. Hi, hey yo, howdy, yo, hey. You can add as many variations of hi in here as you want, but I will keep it this way. And then um, you can hide it on the page if you want, or just leave it this way, it doesn't really matter. And then we click on confirm. Now we need to make sure that this command is on and it's on everybody like you see here, and it doesn't cost any points. This is a good setup. If you go back to the main page of Cloudball here, they say don't forget to mod Streamlabs by typing slash mod Streamlabs in your chat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. We're gonna go to Twitch and to our own page. Then we go to our chat and paste it here. You can also just type slash mod Streamlabs. And we press enter and for me it was already moderated so I have no problem. But if you haven't done this yet, this is a very important step. We can go back to Cloudbot now and we need to make sure that this stick here is on. It needs to be light blue. If it's like this, it's off. So make sure that it's on because otherwise it's not working. The button is a little bit laggy. So if you click on it, it can take a while to turn off. Or if I click on it again, it can take a little bit to turn on. So be a little bit patient with it. <laughs> and now if we go to our Twitch again and I would say hi, so you guys will say, hello, welcome to my stream. If you want that the bot doesn't spam your messages constantly, go back and click on the edit icon here. And then here you see global cooldown and user cooldown. What we want to do is set a user cooldown on something a little bit higher. So if they say hi to somebody else, it doesn't react on them. Another thing you can do if you want to make it more personal is let them say hello to the, to the person itself. If you go here to variables, that's just in the commands, you can see all kinds of things that you can use for commands. So what we want is the person who triggered the command, we want it to say hi to them. So what we're gonna search, you don't have to search this because I'm searching this right now, but I want you to see how I actually got to this point so you can use it in future commands as well. So here I found target name, replaces the target name variable with the target's name. So we want to copy this and uh, that is like squiggly squiggly bracket target dot name squiggly bracket and we're going to back to our command here hello and i'm going to paste that in here so now if you do confirm and i would say hey it doesn't say the name it's supposed to wait ah here to user name that's the one i think this is the one so i'm going back and uh replacing this one boom I'm gonna try it again. Hello Tree, welcome to my stream. That's it. That is it. So it's not the one that I just said, but it's uh, to user dot name. This is the one that you want to use. And then we can confirm that and it does work. If you want a custom bot name, you see the stream labs right here, but you can also have three bot for example. I do have a video about how you can get a custom bot name with Streamlabs Cloudbot right here. So just jump into the video with me and I'm gonna explain how that works. See there. 